Hello again, and in this video we are in Liverpool. More specifically, we're at the waterfront in Liverpool, um, Pier Head, very historic location. Three of the most iconic buildings in the country are behind me. Um, in front of me, I'm looking at Albert Dock, and to the right I have the famous River Mersey. Now the sun is setting beautifully over the River Mersey at the moment. It's a bit too high for a sunset, but we've got the sun beaming full, full force straight on these buildings. It's lit them up super white. Now, because of the angle of the sun, there is a little bit of contrast on the buildings. Not a lot, but there is a little bit. And uh, we're going to try and capture these buildings in, in that bright sunlight. Not the easiest thing to do, although it is a bit of a picture postcard, potentially because of the clear blue sky. But the challenge you've got here is where do you take the picture from? Do you come this close and use a wide angle lens? Or do you go way over there a little bit and use a more, uh, a more sort of mid range lens? You've got disadvantages and advantages to both. If you go back that way, then you can get the perspective of the building pretty much right in camera. If you come over here, although you're using a wide angle lens, you may have to tilt your camera up a little bit and that's going to give you diverging lines. So the, the building is lines aren't going to be flat like that. They're going to be, they're going to be wonky. And that is purely because the camera sensor is not totally in line with the building. So the, to have a flat, perspective you need things to be nice and parallel so what we're doing is we've got our camera on here I've got a Tamron 15 to 30 lens on the front it's quite open it's on about 18 mil I've got a little bit of angle on the camera just pointing up a touch so that uh, I'm getting the full of that building which means afterwards I am going to do a little bit of jiggery pokery in Photoshop just to stretch those edges out a little bit so it looks uh, it looks like a, a normal perspective what else have I got here it's a bright day it's a, it's a blue sky, so I've got a polarizer on the front just to, uh, just to try and get some of that um, control back into the sky and get a bit of blueness in the sky. Of course, I'm using my Nikon D850 and I've got a tripod there. You don't necessarily need a tripod because I'm not using uh, any filters other than the, the polarizer, so I don't need uh, a super long shutter speed. Um, it's quite a quick shutter speed at about a hundredth of a second, so I could potentially do this handheld without, without too much trouble. So let's just take that picture and let's just see what this is going to do now what i did notice there is because i'm using quite a wide angle lens there's a lamp post over here that is coming into the frame we're going to chop that out in uh, in photoshop so let's have a look at that image well, there we go so we've got we've got the three graces there as they call them these three gorgeous buildings and uh there's carol come here carol here's another one of our photography chums turn around and say hello hello there you go <laughs> off you go cheers <laughs> So that's uh, another one of our members. So there's a group of us out tonight, and uh, we are uh, we're taking photographs around this area as a as a club. So we've got we've got the building there. It's uh, it's exactly what we tried to do. Not the best picture in the world. There are better pictures here in uh, in Albert Dock, and we are going to try and find some in a short time. Until next time, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.